What up? This is a weird one. I had to stop recording. For reasons. I don't know why I just took blood pot. Ah, I've been to the item room. Been to... Yeah, fuck it. I'm out of here. I don't even remember where we're at in this run. I know I lost one and then had to... But then I ended it. Because uh, someone came down to talk to me and I was like talking for a bit. No. I don't know what I want to do. Release it in two parts? Because like I already started the run, right? So, uh... A weird one for sure. But, uh... Now we're back. I don't even remember where we were at. It's like first floor... Yeah, we finished the first floor... Now I gotta get our deal with the devil. I'm not... Yeah, I'm not taking that. For sure not taking that. It's garbage, bro. Not garbage. I've taken it before, but like, I'm not taking uh, items unless they're A tier. So, that's just how I feel. Hey, uh, get out. Get out. Excellent work. Uh, come on, get... Okay, I, I don't even remember where I was at in, like, my topic, or I don't even remember what I was talking about, what sentence I left off on. It was something quirky, I think. It was, like, Monstro versus Monstro. Anyway, we're back. Monstro, Monstro's Lung, is a decent item. That's where I, that's what I think I was saying. And it is decent. It's decent. It's a decent item. Uh, if I get a little bit more damage, I think it'll 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 start to pop off for me. So, uh, would love a deal with the devil that is just like, oh my gosh, what a sniper, American sniper, bro. He's the American sniper, and I'm throwing, bro. Nah, but he's the American sniper though. That was a sh that what a shot. Would love a tears upgrade, by the way. That'd also be great. Larry Jr. Can't think of an easier boss to dust here. Probably just run into these guys. Yeah. Jesus Juice is a damage upgrade, so I'm not going to complain. Ah, uh, Rerolled. We're still rerolling, I think. Re oh yeah, we're still rerolling. Uh, I really ought to get the, the show on the road here, get with the program. Um, I don't want to take too long, but I mean, this is quite a ways to go. Uh, I'll probably bomb this right here. Yeah, there we go. And then step on this a few times. Uh, reroll. Fuck. So I guess I'm just leaving it. Probably should have taken. Hey you, or whatever it's called. Hey you. Uh, I'll do this room to see if I get a battery charge. Like if a battery charge drops. I'm glad I went in here. Cause I do need my deal with the devil chance to be spared here. And this, this room was worth doing. I'm glad I went in here. So, we're out of here, I guess. We should check the shop. Because we have so much money. Uh, what do I want to do here? Probably bomb this. A decent item. Bomb again. Activates the space war twice. That's probably not worth it. It doesn't really synergize well with the D6. This synergizes well with the D6. I mean, not synergizes, but it, I mean, it's it's decent. Could I have bought a battery charge? I don't. I wasn't paying attention. I don't really care. I'm out of here. We're done with this floor. We got upgrades despite squandering a deal with the devil and squandering an item room. So I can't really complain. I mean, I can I can complain all I want. In fact, I do it frequently. But. I mean, I can't really, like, legitimately complain, because I mean, this run is just its going fine. Grab this money. Our shops are going to be worth going to, now that we have Humbling Bundle. What, uh... 
I don't understand what is. Oh my gosh, I got hit by a champion. What a tilter, bro. What a tilter. We have our shop here. No keys, though. So. Just, uh. Try not to get hit. Basically. Just try not to get hit. Just try in here. Cause we're in a we're in a decent spot. Like if we got hit, it wouldn't be the end of the run. We can survive a little bit longer without a deal. But I I do not want to see this run slow down to the point where I start tilting. Basically, my throat hurts too much for me to tilt. I would rather just have an easy episode where I get to talk about you know garbage for the entire duration. Uh, <laughs> So, I mean, let's try to make this work here. I hereby state I will be taking no damage on this boss fight. Gertie. A little sketchy here, because uh, I gotta kill these mobs, but I think we're gonna be okay. Perhaps. Okay, yeah, we're gonna just keep on trucking. I don't want to get hit, so I'm gonna play a little defensive here. Yeah, like for that for that reason. Get him out. Okay, okay, okay. And get get him out. Get out. Get out. <gasps> He's done it. Okay, let's walk in here. Okay, let's go. Buy this. Ah, uh, reroll this. Take this. Spank this. And now we're out. So we got a lot of work to do this floor. We need to get into the shop to buy some HP. Because we have money. We need two rerolls, basically. I'll probably take caffeine pill for the speed up. Because we do need to speed up. Um, but, I mean, these were these are some solid gets here to get a... Uh, Goat head. So I should probably be a little careful with my HP here. Because I don't want to get into a situation that I don't wish to be in. So the dream would be to have an item room here that is just good enough to take outright. It doesn't even have to be A tier. I'm not, you know, in the market for an A tier item, basically. I'm in the market for an, an, a decent item. But I think this run can pay dividends. This is a decent item. I will, I'll take it. I'm not going to complain. Now, I don't really want to go to that... Actually... I'll tell you what. Go down here. Oh, what a synergy. What a synergy. Wow. That's pretty good. I'm going to go down here in case this is something like Pride. Or, or, no, 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 Sloth. Not Sloth. Is it Pride? No, 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 not Pride. Eh, the good one. This is Sloth. I don't want to fight Sloth. I wanted to fight the, uh... The one that gives you the left hand. Oof. Oof. Oh, big smoke, it's me. Okay, we're good. Bob's Curse, I'll take it. Just because I want to save this battery charge. So we have to. We have some work to do here. This floor is going to take a little longer. For sure. Uh, but I think... We can pay dividends on this floor. Buy this. And then... Get this garbage out of my face. Get this garbage out of my face. Okay, bomb this. Buy this, buy this, reroll for another spirit heart, that's not it, okay I'll keep the battery charge on deck, in case we need an extra battery charge, hopefully this deal with the devil item is just outright good, this is outright good, and item room, Ah, fuck it. 
Fuck it. We're already taking some time on this floor. Probably should have... I mean, because I don't know what I want it to be. More than likely, it'll turn into a range upgrade that I don't want. Which is the issue here. Uh, I don't even want to do that. So I'll probably take the speed upgrade, right? And then... Pretty sure... No. That room with the equal sign in the middle is supposed to signify that there is a secret room nearby. I just don't know how to read it. Okay, well, 1.5 speed is is a good place to be, basically. This, this run is starting to take shape. I like what I see. And uh, we're just going to keep on moving through. Monster's Lung... Uh, I, I respect now, basically. I mean, I've always respected it to some degree. Like, I don't think... I've never said it was a bad item. Uh, I've never claimed that Monster's Lung was a bad item. I would not be so presumptuous. Oh my gosh, what a sniper. American sniper. Ugh, I can't believe that hit me. I thought I was just on the cusp of it. Just on the cusp. Two spades. I use it instantly. Book of Sin? Not too shabby. Not too shabby. I'll, I'll always take fly items now just because they're so common. That we can get uh, Lord of the Flies or whatever. Oh my gosh, why did I play this room so poorly? Oh my Lanta! Gimme. And now we have to fight Greed. Okay, let's slow our roll here. Slow our roll here a little bit. It's not die while we have Curse of the Eye can't see how much HP I have. We've taken some damage. Pretty doo-doo. Doesn't matter. We keep trucking along. We're not gonna die. Ah! Oh my gosh! I didn't see that the thing got broken. I just kind of stood there and let him hit me. So, I mean, let's see if I can pick this up. Okay, I can't pick this up, which means I still have Spirit Hearts left. Lemon Party. Take, take this. Now we're out. Remember that we have a battery charge there. Uh, This is a, a spicy one. Only because I can't see my HP. It's just a little spicy. A little spicy. Kind of like, I don't know, the kicking chicken. It's a little spicy, not really. I wouldn't say it's a spicy sandwich. I would just say that it's a sandwich that has spice on it. What happened? I thought I had the compass. I do have the compass. Where am I? Oh, I just couldn't see my thing. So this is where I think we're going to start. Oh my gosh. What a tilter. We kind of just wasted algae there. Because it immediately broke. <laughs> what a tilter. Uh, I mean, I don't know. This run is good. I'm just a little scared because I can't see my HP. It's probably nothing to worry about. Probably just worrying too much. And that's something I do a lot. I understand. I worry too much. I complain too much. That's okay. Probably should just pay a key to get two keys. Probably doesn't matter in the long run, but whatever. The Fallen is a stellar boss to fight. Please don't. Please don't. I'm begging. Please don't do that. I don't like that. Get out. Literally get fucked. Whew. Oh, okay. 
Oh my gosh, we're gonna die! I keep running into Brimstone! Would love to see my HP here. Probably just take this. No point in trying to reroll it. We can fly, we can do whatever. Probably just get me out of here. What was our item room? What are the flies or whatever? What's in here? Oh, wait. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I'm not thinking straight. We've already cleared basically everything. So let's pick up this heart in case we... Yeah, we need it. <laughs> so we're not going to die. We just don't have any spirit hearts, which is a bummer. But now that we have permanent deal with the devil... I think we have hearts waiting on us. Oh, check here. Not really worth it, but... Whatever. We have a battery charge and red hearts in here. And then we're going to go re-roll IV bag. Because... We might have gotten cucked out of our Alge's rune, but I will not get cucked out of an item. So maybe get an HP upgrade or something. Ooh, wow. That's not going to help at all with Monstro's Lung, but it's still a decent item. So I'm not going to turn my nose up at picking it up. I think we're out of here now. I suppose. Can I see my HP? 2 HP, so a little bit dicey. I don't know when I got up HP downgrade. Oh, because I spent a heart at the deal with the devil. Obviously, uh, a little less HP than I thought. I, I thought I was on three hearts, but, you know, we're in a good spot. Here's our spirit heart. So, oh my gosh, get him out. Hey, can you stop wasting my time, please? You have got to go. Can you stop wasting my time, please? Get out. I'm not taking Peeper. Peeper is like a is a, is a D tier item, probably. It's just not good. Oh yeah, here we go. Want this? Want this? Buy everything, basically. And then donate money because we're gonna get more money before this uh, run is over. Would love a shop upgrade, but uh, you know, whatevs. It is what it is. Trust me, you get what you give. Yeah. So now we can see where we're going all the time, which is pretty good. The only thing we're missing is blue map, which is not even really. It's probably like. I don't know if it's the best or the worst map item. Like, it doesn't tell you a whole lot, but it does tell you where one of the more transformative rooms in the on the floor is. So, I mean, it does something. It's just not, you know, as good as, I guess, the other ones. Knowing where you're going and knowing where every, like, special room is, is nothing to turn your nose up at. So, two out of four is not bad, not bad. So I guess I should talk about whatever now, because this run is- oh my gosh. Because this run is going decently. Oh my, Lanta. I'm gonna lose because I'm playing poorly. I don't know what's into me, like I'm just thirsty, basically. Like I'm very dehydrated, but like I don't have any water. <laughs> next to me basically is the issue hey can we uh get out no not that movie by director peel i call him now I, I said director peel i call him now like i i'm like personally friends with uh the guy who made get out and the new movie us which i just saw in theaters today it was a very good movie just in case you were asking. I thought it was a stellar movie. We're gonna go back and pave it forward on my donation machine. I'm gonna pay it forward until they make me stop. Because I want a shop upgrade and so long as I have bad money. I definitely don't know Director Peel uh, 
personally. Like, I've never met him. He probably doesn't know me. He probably wouldn't like me if he met me, if I'm honest. But I think his movies was, his movies were, like, or not were, they are pretty good. Uh, not pretty good. They were actually, like, I'm not going to say masterpieces because, like, I'm not a, a, a film critic. I wouldn't know what a masterpiece is. I just thought it was a, a very good movie. As far as movies go. Had a very good soundtrack. Very good, uh... This steps okay, just that's that's one. Very good soundtrack, good actors, good uh, like uh, some parts of the plot. Just I and mean, I'm talking about uh, what is it called? Us right now. Oh my gosh, what happened? I'm talking about us right now. Um, some parts of the plot didn't really make a whole lot of sense to me, but that's because I'm retarded. It's not because. They were, it was like an oversight by the director. It was because, like, I am literally just too dumb to understand what is going on. No, I mean, not too dumb. Like, I'm, I'm a smart dude, but, like, as, as far as, like, movie plots go, I am a little uneducated. Oh, my gosh. So this is a little dicey. Because, like, I, I want to take both of them, right? But, like, I don't think I should, is the issue. I mean, this is a tough decision. I can take both of them. But it, it would just be very, very dicey. How much floor do I have left? I can't even see. Um, this is a tough one. Because our tiers are just, like, kind of good. I'm going to take Dark Bomb. And if I lose because I didn't take Mom's Knife. I mean, I what am I retarded? I could have taken him and then... Ah, uh, fuck it. I mean, I don't care. I'll go in and reroll it. And if it's a... Ugh! Why am I like this? Why am I like this? That was that was probably like the worst play I've ever done. But I'm not really going to be penalized immediately for it because it just okay, so like first of all, go back. We have red hearts to feed dark bomb and we need HP. So it'd be kind of silly not to feed him. So feed him Feed him this. Go through here. Feed him this. There we go. Okay, so feeling a little better. I would be feeling a lot better if I would have played that, you know, like, you know, with, you know, one more brain cell. You know, my two brain cells were like, two red heart. Uh, I don't pay two. I don't pay one red heart. I pay two. Oh, my Lanta! How long have I been recording? 23 minutes? <sighs> just fuck it. Just fucking... Take your dumbass back there. Take your... No, just pick this up. Get the speed upgrade so you can go fast. Fucking idiot. Fucking... Can I please stop getting books? If I get one more book, it's gonna be me and you. It's gonna be me and you. We're going to fight in the middle of a jail cell. Lay low creep a while, and when I see a punk pass, I smile. Fucking just take this. Take the peeper. Peeper is a D tier item, as I said. I don't, I don't take it back. I still mean it. I still mean everything I said. But, I mean, just sacrifice a key to the key god. Who cares? Um... But I would rather reroll this. Oh my gosh! No, 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 no. You don't understand. You're not hearing what I am saying. I'm not leaving without the, the devil deal that I paid two hearts for. Give me... No. Give me this. You don't understand. I have floors left. I'm not leaving without getting my fucking item. 
I don't care if you give me every space bar item in the pool. I am not leaving without my fucking item, okay? You understand me? I paid for the item, I'm taking the item. That's that. I will not be cucked out of my item by you giving me shitty items. Or good items, for that matter. I probably should have just taken Mom's knife and then just taken the HP. But I mean, instead, like an absolute fucking moron, I didn't. So, fuck it. Who cares? Right? Just feed Dark Bum a little more. Come over here, Dark Bum. I know you're going to give me a Spirit Heart for this one. Or Spider. Okay. I'm not leaving without my fucking item. Okay, you understand me? Do you understand your boy when he says he is not leaving without his item? I don't care if it is the worst item in the Devil Deal pool. I am not leaving without it. Do I make myself clear? I don't think I was unclear at any point during that uh, conversation. I am not leaving without my item, so don't even bother giving me a space for item. I am not taking it. Gimpy is fine. Not really the juice I was looking for, but the juice I'm looking for is uh, a half a liter of water in my water bottle. But as you can see, my uh, or as you can hear, my throat is quite dry, and I uh, I don't have my water bottle filled up with half a liter of water. I have a, like an ounce, like a single ounce of water in my water bottle right now. Speed up, let's fucking go. Oh, my lanta. Yeah, it doesn't run into it. Fuck it. It doesn't matter. You don't need HP. Honestly... HP upgrades are what I'm looking for here because I don't have enough HP to take another deal with the devil. At least like a normal one. Like I can, I can take like Abaddon or something. Like free deals with the devil, I can take deals with the devil that cost HP, like like actual HP, like real HP. I cannot take. If that wasn't abundantly clear already. So anyway, I thought the movie was... It was pretty good. I think it was a very good movie. Uh, there was a point in my life where... Uh, if a black director made a movie and then was like... Hey, I'm straight up just not casting white people for any of the movies I make, like... Ever? I, there, was, there was a point in my life I would have been like... Well, screw you too, buddy. But, like, I don't even give a fuck anymore. Like, nothing matters. <laughs> Not nothing matters. Like, things matter. But, like, those things in particular don't really fucking matter. Like, I don't care. Um, there was this, like, thing. Not thing, but, like, uh, there's, like, a saying. People are, like, there aren't enough like colored people representation in in movies and you know that is to some extent or not to some extent that is true and then uh white folks are like well if you don't think that there's enough black representation in movies make your own movie and then people were like that's not the point and then you know a black director makes a movie and decides to cast only you know colored folks and then people are like you can't do that that's not fair and like whatever it doesn't doesn't matter <laughs> literally doesn't matter um what do i want to do here so wait to buy these i i, I will remember that these are here and i, I want to buy them like, I want to buy your vehicle, but, like, it, it, the price right now is too steep, basically. Um, essentially, what needs to happen here is I need to find a teleport card so that I can go Diplopia, a deal with the devil, 
and then teleport card out to come pick up the D6 again? Or blank card, either one. You know, like, either one of those cards, or, or either one of those items is, is takeable at this point. Like, the D6, you, you're usually going to want to drop it after you stop getting item rooms. But, uh... Yeah. Anyways, so that that's what I'm thinking here. Uh, anyways, but, like, people were like... Not people. I, I assume people were like... Black Director said he's not going to cast white folks in his movie? That's pretty racist, bro. But, like, literally doesn't fucking matter. Like, nobody actually, like, legitimately cares. I mean, like, once you're on, like, an not ascended level like your boy, but, like, once you're on a level like I am where... Not that you don't think that, like, political issues matter or that they exist, but, like, that you just simply don't care enough to bother paying attention to them. Basically what I'm trying to say is like ethnicity is important to some people, right? You know, you want to have you want to see your people in film and literature and whatever. Okay, fool is what we were looking for here. Now we go by Diplopia. And Diplopia, whatever, is in Deal with the Devil. Because we already fought Krampus. So unless it's red chests, we're gonna get something. Basically. Doesn't matter to me what it is. Anyways. If you want to make a movie and cast... You can cast whoever you want in your movie. Like, I don't care. As long as the movie's good... You know, I will not complain. Oh my gosh. Does two Abaddons help me? I assume that it does. If only I had gotten this a few floors ago. Or, or literally last floor. Uh, probably... Oh my gosh, I just had an ascended idea. So, this is, this is an idea that you did not see coming. Diplopia this. Take it. And then leave? Come back. And this is where you're scratching, you're, you're starting to see the puzzle pieces coming together. Pick up the D6. Go back and get your card. And then re-roll the item. And then with all the extra HP that's on the floor now because you diplopiate it, you can pick it up. <sighs> We've literally already seen this item. And I'm going to pick it up. You disappoint me beyond measure. My disappointment is immeasurable and my day is ruined. We're out of here. Necronomicon, lick my balls. Necronomicon, terrible fucking book, if I'm honest. So yeah, if you wanna make your own movie, go ahead, cast whoever you want. I literally don't care. It, it literally doesn't matter to me. I think the only people that would care are white boomers. And I don't know if I made it clear about how I feel about boomers. I don't like them. But, I mean, like... My dad is technically a boomer. He was born on the literal last year that boomers can exist. Like, like technically speaking. Like, boomers were... Are, like, the era of boomers is between like a like 1990 something and then 1990 1963 or 19 not 1990 something 19 something to 1963 my dad was born in 1963 so he is technically a boomer i don't consider my dad a boomer though like when i think of boomers i think of like really old 
uh, people that work in the federal government. That well, That's what I think of when I think boomer. Not a fan of boomers. I think that they are just a little pretentious, usually. Usually quite unenjoyable. Not uh, fun people to be around. Kind of got their head up their ass most of the time. But you know, whatever. Ain't gonna cry about it. That's a classic from your boy. Ain't gonna cry about it. I just killed somebody and he just didn't die. So there's two of him apparently alive. Shut the fuck up, boomer. Oh, yeah. So. Come on here, take this. Come in here, pick this up. Oh, we got Leviathan. Not that it really matters. Um, chariot here. I'm drowsy. I love an I'm drowsy pill. Can you please drop an item? Like today, please. You are starting to get on my nerves. Okay, here we go. Growth hormones. Take this. Take this. Take this. Take this. Bomb it. And now come back through here, pick this up. Pick this up. Pick this up. Go back and pick our HP up, and then we'll be heading out. What time is it? 37 minutes. I mean we kinda took a little too long on this run for what it's worth, but you know, it did end up popping off and we're gonna win, so I'm glad. I I I'm I'm enjoying the run. Uh, I'm gonna keep this I'm drowsy pill for Isaac. Probably. Isaac has no business having that much HP. <gasps> That's my two cents though. You don't gotta you don't gotta believe me. What the fuck is going on? Um ow? You're a son of a bitch? Uh, this is what I meant to talk about this whole time, and I never got around to it because I, I've just been so busy talking about the run, talking about the movie I went to go see. I thought the movie was great, by the way, in case I didn't say that. Um, I thought it was a, a stellar movie. Not the movie Stellar, but like like a stellar movie, though. You know what I mean? Uh, hey, can you stop being such a dick lips? Thank you. Um, that was a stellar movie. But what I meant to talk about was, there's this game, right, that I've been playing on my phone. And I've owned it for a while. I mean, I mean like, I, I bought the app back in, like, 2014, maybe? 2015? It's called uh, Darkroom. And it's, like, a text-based game about, like, living... Or not living, but, like, existing in like a post-apocalyptic world or whatever and you've got to you know kill all these people and ha make a city and all this all this stuff and uh in the pc version of the game I, I played the pc version it's for free you can google it right now google dark room and you'll know it when you see it it's like a text-based video game that like it just starts playing as soon as you click on the website um Fun game. It, it, it's a it's a well made text based game, and uh, I'm kind of a, a sucker for text based games. Like I, I'm a, I'm a big fan of you know most text based games, and um, so I played I played the online one, but I never finished it because I just got like busy doing stuff, and 
you know you can it plays in the browser so if you switch like between computers which I did a lot in high school because you know I didn't own a computer or I did I just didn't like own a computer own a computer is what I'm saying I actually think it was 2014 so it was actually before I got my computer I think and um, so I would go between computers a lot and I never really got to finish the game on PC and so I played it recently and uh, we're gonna take this reroll this probably just leave it I don't really care we have a battery charge man as well go back I mean I want to see this run get as good as it can get like I'm never gonna not take stuff especially when I'm this fast when I'm at 2.0 speed it takes like literally no time to go back so we're, we're coming up on 40 minutes here uh, this is a long run Come back, take this. Okay, we're out. Um, so Dark Room is like a, a, a text-based video game, and on PC, it's it's completely normal, right? Like like a, as normal as a text-based like video game about a post-apocalyptic world. You know, you're living in. You know, you kill random scavengers because they attack you or whatever, and, and you get your people to like make weapons for you, like the people living in your city, because you're like the mayor or whatever. And, uh, so, so you get people to build stuff for you. And, um, there's nothing wrong with the video game on PC, right? It's a little slow at the very start, right? But, uh, altogether, it's a well-put-together video game. Like, it just, it just flows well. It makes sense. Um, and then they came out with a iOS version of it. And I was like, hey, iOS version is perfect for me. Because um, I switch between computers a lot, and I don't want, and I want to be able to finish the game. So the difference between the PC version and the iOS version is the developer literally said in like a blog post or whatever about the game. He was like, "Yeah, uh, when I was porting it to iOS, I thought that iOS users had a shorter attention span." than uh, PC users did. So I had to tweak some of the aspects of the game so that it, it would, you know, sync well with, uh, like, the people I have playing it. Knockback tears. I don't really want any of this. Fear shot. Take this. This 2020, yeah. And so the developer was like, the people on iOS had a shorter attention span, so I had to add like an actual like plot line, storyline to the game. And anytime a developer is forced to add content to a game that is already functional functioning because of like audience reasons, it just becomes kind of a shit show. And let me explain here what I mean. Um, the iOS or or the this the computer version like for PC like that you can play in your web browser is like it's just normal like you just play as like a dude and you have like this builder who builds stuff for you and the builder is like secretly like an alien or something and sorry to spoil it for you but you know secretly like an alien or whatever and um they they are they are happy to help you basically uh, for some reason, the iOS version made it so that you are now a slave driver instead of like a regular, just old, dystopian kind of guy. And you are now a slave driver, and the people living in your city are actually slaves. Even though they voluntarily came there and they can leave whenever they want. Nothing is stopping them from leaving. They are just... The developer just said, hey, they're slaves now. So it completely changes the dynamic of the game. And, and you're basically supposed to feel bad for what you're doing. Because, like... You're, you, you're like, you own slaves, basically. They're like, you own slaves now, brother. You're a bad guy. And, and basically, my, my thought process is... You kind of forced me to be a slave driver. To, to like, be a slave owner. I, if you're forcing my hand here, how are you going to guilt trip me 
into thinking I'm in the wrong for playing the game the normal way it's supposed to be played. Like, I didn't do anything wrong. I mean, what's going on here? So, anyways, as uh, it's it's a little irritating because like the game is completely changed from its PC version, and the PC version is like the definitive version. It's the it's the version that the developer intended to have like exist. And he was like, the iOS people were just like, they're too slow, and we don't want it to get review bombed because it's too slow in the very beginning. So we have to, you know, make a plot line where you're actually a slave owner, and and it tries to guilt trip you into not owning slaves or whatever. But you literally like, the game is just too slow if you don't own them. So uh, uh, it's a mess. So all I'm saying is, if you force me to be a slave driver, it's not gonna be my fault when. I have slaves. Like, I didn't ask to be a slave driver. Like, I played the PC version. I did not buy the iOS version. I was like, you know what would make the iOS version just, like, better? If I get to own slaves this time, and instead of just being, like, a normal, uh, like, city that exists after, you know, bad stuff happens to the world or whatever, I am now actually just a slave city that owns slaves, even though they came here willingly. Anyways, I'm, I, I, it's too short of a video left, or I don't have enough time left in the video to, to get into what I wanted to get into, so fuck it. Go see Us. It was a good movie. It's kind of scary, kind of not, but whatever. See ya.